So Newfoundland sits at the most easterly point of Canada and it's really well known for being a really rugged, wild and somewhat barren landscape. They have Grossmoor National Park that sits on the westerly side of Newfoundland. It's got big mountains, it's got huge glacial carved fjordlands, so you'd expect to be going out hiking or going out on zodiac tours. On the eastern side of the island, it's very much more about exploring the little fishing villages. Trinity and Twillingate are really popular destinations. These are really key points to see the icebergs. Icebergs come through in the May and June months and you'll see these vast icebergs heading down the waters and they flow all the way down to the south easterly edge. Newfoundland is home to lots of wildlife. On land you'd be hoping to spot your caribou and on the ocean it's very much about seeing humpback whales breaching off of the bays. There's 35 million seabirds. Atlantic puffins are very common in this area. Newfoundland's the perfect location for a self-drive. It's very much about going from fishing village to fishing village, meeting the locals. The locals are charming here. So Newfoundland is a destination which is probably most commonly visited in the summer months. Best time to see the icebergs flow are May and June. We really love having people visit in the September, October time when you really see the oranges and reds come out in the national parks. Newfoundland is just a short flight, it's a five hour flight from the UK. There are a few other places as wild as Newfoundland within such easy reach.